I'm Lawrence. It's a, a 2022 GTS Sports Turismo. Um, it's black underneath. Um, had it wrapped from new. Um, protect the paintwork and save cleaning it really. Um, fully electric, obviously. Well, it has actually got two gears. It's got a drop-down gear, but effectively it's one gear. So 0 to 60 is about 2.7 seconds, um, and it will keep going way up to 150, apparently. <laughs> um, yeah, five-seater, loads of room. Um, yeah, I love them. You know, until the government stop incentivising them, I'll have them. So my name's Martin Mason and um, I'm in the Boxster Cup this season, first time ever. So I bought the car um, at the end of 2023, entering into the Porsche Boxster Club Championships for 24. Um, absolutely no, no experience until February 24, when first track day at Brands Hatch. Um, ended up on the grass, going backwards at 80 miles an hour. Um, so that was a good introduction to uh, track driving. My only experience before that was um, sim racing, Gran Turismo, i racing, at home on my simulator. Um, so we've done two rounds so far, Donington and Brands Hatch. Donington finished 14th and 12th, and Brands Hatch finished 17th and 14th, out of 23 cars starting. Um, currently sitting 14th out of 27 in the championship. So I'm really chuffed with that, um, you know, having no experience going into it. Um, really good group of people in the Porsche Club. Um, great experience, great camaraderie in the, in the paddock. So I bought the car, um, which is an original Resta Racing uh, 986, uh, built by Porsche Swindon. Um, it's got signatures all over the inside and the interior of all the people that bought it and have driven it since. Um, so it's Box standard engine and gearbox with uprated uh, JRZ suspension and it's maintained by Barn Sport in Blandford. They do a really good job uh, race preparing it for me. Um, it runs on Trofeo R's which are road legal tyres because it's class 3. Um, class 2's can run on slicks but class 3 is an entry level series running on road tyres. Two, two sets of tyres per season maximum. Um, for dries and two sets for wets, and seven rounds uh, in the Boxster Cup. So we've got Alton Park next on the 29th of June, and just done Brands Hatch on the 18th of May. Um, so this is my 997.1, so it's a 2005, um, and I've had it lowered, there's three-piece forged wheels from HRE, which are American, really nice and light, really, really strong, um, there's an exhaust modification to it, I put the aero kit front bumper on it, I've got the rear wing going on soon, uh, so it's low, and it, I mean it catches on everything, but it looks super cool, so... Um, that's why I've done that. Um, I went for the 997 because I've driven the 991 and uh, this one just... <laughs> I went, I've driven the 991 but this one's smaller, it feels sportier. I think the ratio, the gear ratio is slightly uh, closer as well. So it's a bit more of a driver's car in my opinion. Uh, it's a manual too so it's really really fun going through the gears. Um, and it sounds great as well. Plus it's got four seats so I can take the kids to school in it. 
<laughs> it's too fast apparently. So yeah, it's my 997. Thank you all for joining us here today at Simply Porsche. So uh, we have had an interesting lineup today in the People's Choice Award, as you may all spot that they are all 996s. So that today has been the popular choice of car. So obviously throughout the day, the public have been voting for their favorite car on display. And it just turns out that today it is the 996, which I am told tends to actually be people's least favorite Porsche. So clearly not the case here at Bewley today. The, uh, Owners will be taking away prizes who are provided by Spitfire Collection. They are a new up and coming car detailing brand who have partnered up with us for all of our Simply rallies to provide prizes. They would normally have been in attendance today, but sadly could not make it. But I hope uh, you all enjoy these new products that are coming obviously up and coming on the market and uh, can see them at another event here at Bewley. So without further ado, I will announce our first runner up and uh, luckily today I can just go with which colour the 996 is and on this occasion that is the blue one. So if I can please get the owner over here and I know that they have said they are happy to give up a few words about their vehicle. Uh, basically I've had it for five years, um, to, looked at many many cars to find quite a, a decent car. Um, basically what I've done is serviced it every year, I haven't done really much to it. It's, a, it's quite a low mileage car, it's done the same 7,000 miles. Um, it's, yeah, it's been well looked after, I try and keep it that way as well. well you kept it in really good condition Thank for all you. that time. Um, and why do you love that car in uh, particular? Just like the Porsche brand, I've had 924s, 944s, um, and that's the next step. That's my ninth Porsche I've had, so. Oh, perfect. Well, you've finally made it into the running with the People's yeah. Choice. Congratulations. <laughs> if you would like to head over to our managing director to collect your prize. Yeah, with your 996. Yeah. Yeah. And then our second runner-up today, again, the colour this time, that is the black one. About eight years now, um, it was a standard Carrera when I got it, so I've done one or two things you might have noticed to it. Um, basically along the lines of a sort of poor man's GT3 kind of vibe, so, but yeah, that's basically happy with how it is now. I have seen, heard people comment on the wheels, they're particularly fond of those. <laughs> And you're here today with a car club, is that right? Which yes, one? Uh, with the 996 and the group. There you go, there is a fan club over there. Oh, well, thank you very much for coming. If you wanted to go over to Russell and grab your prize, thank you. And that does then leave us with our overall winner. If I can please get the owner of the red 996, please, with the wonderful tent box on top. We've built a dream um, of obviously the car's been completely rebuilt. Um, it's been turned from two wheel drive, to, uh, from four wheel drive to two wheel drive. And obviously it's a very unique color, it's GTS red. So when we built the car, we've built it how we wanted it. So obviously huge thanks to the guys at MLR who've done the bills. <laughs> <laughs> and we've we've now done we've had it on the road just over 12 well 12 months next month and it's done 12,000 miles we use it and love it and it's just brilliant it's everything in one package and have you been camping in it we have so we've done Le Mans Classic Nürburgring and we're going to Scotland this week as well as some English Ooh. English country tours as well Oh, so a well-used Porsche then? It gets very well used. It runs, uh, so we run Tipac, it does convoys around Wales with 30 cars attached to the back of it and yeah, yeah it, gets, oh. it gets used. Nice to hear that you're not scared to put mileage on that car then. Uh, well, thank you very much and congratulations if you would like to go and get your prize from Russell, our Managing Director. And a big round of applause, thank you everyone. <laughs>